Hey guys, MJP here. Um, I have decided that I'm going to make a homemade incubator. So I have taken a cooler, or a mini fridge, that did not, no longer cool, that I've had sitting out in my garage for like a year and a half, because I couldn't bear to throw it away. I've decided, after doing some research, that I can make an incubator out of it. I have a leopard gecko that is laying eggs, and so I'm going to need a bigger incubator. I made a makeshift one, but I need to make something that I can put more containers of eggs in so they can hatch. So I'm going to do show you guys how I do this, and hopefully it will teach somebody else. So basically, I have the mini fridge. I've, um, this is the stuff you're going to need. You're going to need the heat. This is um, your heat tape. Um, this gets hot. It comes with, you can buy it with a plug already on it, or you can put a plug on it yourself, but it's just a plastic roll. It's a 12 inch. I've got six feet of it. I think I've got too much. I have a temperature controller that I bought off Amazon from Zilla. And it's up to um, a thousand watts. You actually plug in the heat mat. This is the heat tape. This heat mat. Sorry. And this is the thermostat. You plug this into this, and it when it gets to a certain temperature on the gauge, it will cut it off and let it cool down a little bit. But then it'll turn it back on so that the temperature continues to stay kind of the same. I also have a digital thermometer that has a, a probe on it so that I can put it inside so I can always monitor what the heat temperature is inside of it. But basically what I've done is I've taken the temperature control out of it. I've put tape on the holes so far um, to cover up every single hole because you want to be able to hold humidity into it and hold the heat and I basically I could show you guys you know that I did this but I basically it's empty I have gutted it disposed of everything properly and um, I'm going to pretty much get started on this and and let me get the um, heat mat put in and then I'll show you what it looks like after I get it installed Okay guys, I got it accomplished. I'm going to show you guys what I've done here. Um, I've got it in the corner where my desk is um, between the snake cage, which your ginger is. She's, um, she's lurking a little. And the bunny rabbit, which he's made a mess with his shavings this morning, hopping around. Um, I've got a thermostat on the side. i got to sit on 90 right now. But I'm going to turn it back down to about 85. Um, it's doing pretty good with the temperature. So if you guys remember what the, this is the Zilla. And I've got it plugged in here. The heat mat. So this turns the heat mat on and off. And I'll show you the heat mat inside. There's what the temperatures are right now. I need to get them down to about 90 to 89 so that maybe I have a boy and a girl um, this is like I said an old fridge that I've made I've put a notepad on front so I can write dates on it it's upside down so it does have a lock on this one and I'm glad because I'm going to lock it to make sure that the kids do not come and open this refrigerator or incubator as I call it now and let the heat out so basically here's what the inside looks like don't have a lot of room in this area but it's okay we have water bottles which are very warm all of them have heated up I've had it on all night long and they're heated up real good and we'll keep those for insulation to keep the warmness I don't want to keep it open too long there is the inside of it um, it had a freezer door on it I took the freezer door off so I could just have another shelf I do have I did put a light on the inside, just a little sticky up light, 
There is our two eggs right there. They have been brought to their new home. And I'll put a picture in the video of what the eggs look like under a light so you guys can see. I have two more incubator pans ready. So she lays more eggs are to be warm and ready to go. So I have two shelves. I taped. I've got the tape. I got the cord running up under it because it's so tall. I did not have to drill but one hole. And that is basically right here where the temperature gauge is. I drilled a hole just to drop the temperature gauge. Which is supposed to be stuck on the side like that. I guess it popped up. So I covered up all the holes that I could find to make sure that it was insulated good. Um, this is my, this right here is to my temperature gauge on the top right here to keep it, even, this is a temperature gauge that cuts it on and off if it gets too hot and this is the temperature gauge that um, I'm basically keeping on top. Let me turn this light out. So there it is guys. Close the door so I can keep it in. This temperature gauge I'm actually turning because my desk is right here and it's messy right now. Um, got a hot mess back there because I've been reorganizing so I know I fuss about people's videos and what's in the background. But um, I've been redoing stuff. So basically that's it guys. That's the incubator. And we should have eggs soon, and I'll make sure that I put a video up. Well, we got a month and about 10 days. So, thank you guys for watching. And um, if anybody has any questions about any of the products, I will put the products in the description, the links to them, so that you know what I've done. Thank you guys, and uh, you guys have an awesome day.